पीछे रहा सोलो सोलो आपका सर थैंक यू राना next i would like to call upon stage uh, the co-founder of broadway he's been instrumental in building this idea and building it along with the team here please welcome on stage vivek biani multiple <laughs> funds executive director of Apu uh, salar puria group please welcome on stage mr apurva salar puria He's been an Apurva has been instrumental in shaping up the D2C industry invested in brands like Epigamia, Bira, M Caffeine and a lot more. And next I would like to call upon stage someone who's been instrumental in shaping up retail in India. Please welcome on stage Mr. Anuj Kejriwal, MD and CEO Anarok Retail. Anarok Anarok being the largest retail advisory firm in the country. So guys, I would leave the dais now to the four of them to talk about what Broadway is and I would let Rana begin the show. You can use the mic as your perfect. Okay. Try to stay more corporate in this world than what I normally do. Okay, I think we're just mics to hide. Hi guys, thank you for coming. I'm actually thrilled to announce Broadway today. It's really a groundbreaking enterprise at really the cutting edge of media, markets, retail in any form. At Broadway, we're trying to master the art of blending the traditional forms and the digital platforms to deliver a real and a unique immersive experience for the consumers and brands. We're starting our operations in the roots of the vibrant cities of delhi hyderabad and mumbai and where we promise to create content engage customers and really build a meaningful relationship across all of them broadway is more than a marketplace it's really a dynamic environment where media and commerce interact we offer some seamless integrations of content and commerce supported by a calendar full of exciting events and collaborations whether it's live workshops to exclusive product launches broadway will really be the hub for everything that's cool and innovative we're here to empower the creators and brands through the state of the art broadway studios where everything that we've learned over our time in telling stories we are going to support the brands and the creators do that and at broadway there's always something going on it will be the most exciting social shopping retail space for this new generation so thank you for coming here and wish us luck on this new dynamic journey in at broadway thank you you know rana as you were introducing broadway you know couple of things which i heard over and over again were commerce and media you know Uh, online and offline so will you tell us a little bit about how you know broadway is integrating traditional as well as digital uh, media platforms so i'm a, i'm a storyteller so i'm going to just take the liberty of starting this as a story uh the invention of shopping malls and all that happened somewhere in the 1800s but there's been no reinvention maybe in the last 100 years uh 
whether you see the first mall that was ever built in England and you see them today, it's pretty much the exact same thing, the exact same offering. But as consumers, we've changed very dramatically. We want to know what we wear, we want to know what we use, uh, we want to understand the ethic of uh, the brand and how it's built. And very rarely do you find these, this available. A brand never, or the founder never gets to speak to the consumer directly in this form. And we thought at Broadway, that's the, that's the best blend that we can do, where in the last five, six years, there's been a great emergence of D2C brands that have come with very, very interesting storytelling, but it only restricts them to digital platforms, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, in that world. And, and there's nothing superior to touch and feel and really understanding where things come from. So I think that's, that's really the blend that we want to bring in at Broadway. So Mr. Vivek, question for you, sir. How does Broadway's marketplace cater to the needs of the 21st century consumer? Uh, Rana, I think the, the starting point, I think as we all have been kind of imagining Broadway together, was that 45% of India is in some sense born in this century. And for this India or uh, even more, uh, I think they're all digital natives. They're born in a world where social media is their platform, where they consume news, entertainment, brand discovery. It's a place where uh, their shopping preferences are being shaped and newer influences are emerging from them. I think a lot of digital first brands, D2C brands have been born in that era, in that environment with consumers. But I think as you rightly kind of pointed out that, uh, you know, every time, let's say, these brands have to kind of engage with consumers in physical retail forms. Uh, if they have to engage, these brands have to tell their stories in a physical environment. Uh, what that potentially would look like. Uh, so I think uh, this is a generation, uh, you know, whose attention span is 15 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, it, is a, uh, it is a generation uh, whose needs are micro, micro segmented. And therefore, so many brands have been kind of uh, building solutions for, these, for this generation. Uh, this is a generation in some sense also which doesn't want to consume what the previous generation consumed. So I think Broadway in some sense is giving life to some of these trends where we want to create a space for a curated set of brands, uh, brands that are really, uh, you know, have a great narrative, great story of why they exist in these consumers' lives. Uh, it's a space where this storytelling will take place through all the experiences that, uh, you know, you mentioned with respect to events happening, so on and so forth. Uh, so we believe that uh, Broadway should be a place where this generation hangs out. It's a space where uh, this generation is participating in many things happening at Broadway. Uh, and if you're able to do that, I think this generation needs uh, destinations to be created. Uh, for them to come out of their homes, spend time, meet people. And I think they blend a lot of these experiences along with shopping. So I think that's, that's, our, that's how we believe uh, maybe uh, you know, malls and shopping centers should also evolve uh, in some sense. Something for you, Apurva. See, I think, I think there is in some sense we're saying that, uh, you know, Broadway is this new imagination of how retail should be. Uh, and, and it should not really be only about retail in some sense, right? And there are many elements apart from the act of retailing that will take place to engage consumers. Uh, so could you share a little bit about what events, what all will Broadway entail uh, to kind of drive this experience for consumers? Sure. You spoke a little bit, uh, Vivek, about you know what the consumer is looking uh, for in the current day and age, and you know why uh, there should be events in the first place. Let me try and again, you know, kind of weave a little bit of a story from the brand kind of side uh, today. And you know, today brands or the kind of brands that we are engaging with at Broadway, which are you know new innovative brands, including D2C brands, are engaging with their customers online which allows them to reach their customer quickly. But as they grow their businesses and uh, you know they come into the offline world, there is an opportunity for experiences beyond what is possible digitally, as well as you know they need a connect offline. They are no longer able to speak to the, uh, the consumer uh, uh, offline if they are just lying on a shelf you know, in a departmental store somewhere. And hence, you know, the various events that we are doing kind of cater allow for the brands to engage with customers in different ways. So 
even the events consequently are of different types, different nature, depending on what fits best into each category and even each brand. It's a very collaborative approach kind of. So it could, for some brands, mean a fashion show. where We have a you know stage uh, within Broadway, as you're probably aware. We have, it could be for somebody a grooming session because there are consultation rooms uh, built in. For another brand, it could be sampling. Uh, it could be, you know, a founder telling their story through a founder connect because, you know, a lot of our consumers want to engage with a particular type of brand which, you know, has a particular story. There is, you know, particular kind of founders which you relate to and so on and so forth. Um, it could be, uh, you know, uh, seminars or, you know, in terms of educating people about benefits of a particular ingredient, particular brand, etc. So, you know, honestly, there is an entire machinery which we are building, an entire IP called Broadway Studios, which will cater to uh, brands, enable them to do this. But I think it's, it's a huge array of events that we are able to kind of uh, put together. It's, it's interesting this to Rana to answer this, that, you know, really, you know, how is Broadway looking to support content creators and brands? I think Apurva just mentioned Broadway Studios uh, towards the end of what he was saying. So the real idea is to give, uh, over time, extreme cutting edge experiences for brands and creators. What we have a content studio inside of Broadway that helps you with whether it's extreme quality graphics, extreme editing, whether it's being able to communicate that right, you also have a test audience that you can keep bringing it out to. And it's very difficult sometimes to set the story and the vision to reach that to the final customer. And at Broadway, it's really like that ecosystem of things where there's a brand, there's a consumer, there's an influencer, and maybe an investor in some form, and all of them make this one little economy for themselves. So that's really the idea, and everything that we've learned over the past is getting disrupted in the way content is being created and making sure whether it's AI that's being able to support these uh, creators, whether it's technology or infrastructure work that's needed, all of that will be at Broadway. Next one, let's go. Vivek, we were, you were speaking about plug and play on brands a little while ago. So what is the convenience and what is this plug and play model at Broadway? Yep. So I think, uh, uh, you know, we had mentioned that at the end of the day, you know, Broadway will have a curated set of brands. And, you know, that curation really goes from uh, what we've been talking about, that, you know, they need to have a very strong narrative storytelling aspect about themselves. Uh, what we also realize is that a lot of these brands are, in some sense, born digitally. Uh, and, uh, you know, so what Broadway will do is really create all the capability that is needed uh, to enable these brands to engage with consumers in physical retail experiences. Uh, now that could potentially mean that how easy can we make it for the brand to participate in the physical retail channel, right from saying that uh, you know the brand can pretty much just come with their merchandise and everything else with respect to uh, designing the entire space, building the brand experience, doing all the capital expenditure, uh, getting the right kind of manpower deployed, training them, and all the kind of processes that goes along with running a retail kind of store is what Broadway provides to this brand. Uh, so I think um, that's the way in which we want to kind of build this model, where, uh, you know, in some sense, uh, you know, how co-working spaces disrupted office uh, environment, where, you know, the, the likes of WeWorks, et cetera, came in and make it extremely easy for uh, young companies to kind of participate in premium quality uh, office spaces. Uh, Broadway aims to do that to some extent for retail, that how can we really make it extremely easy for brands to come participate in, uh, in the physical re retail channel, get them access to these consumers, get them to do all the experiences, events, build all the content, so on and so forth. Uh, so I think Broadway will have that execution capability available, uh, where brands can come and participate and not only reach consumers, not only get an array of creators, influencers who they can partner with, create all the content that is needed and acquire a new set of consumers from here. 